As a result, those voices were pretty much telling you that uh, you could be a better mother to Josh if the other two children were gone? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, you indicated you had started having a thought process like this over the past couple weeks? Off and on, sir. Okay. And <clears throat> you stated that this morning at 840, you put Joshua on the school bus? Yes. Okay. And then you came back into the house? Yes. Okay. And that's where you indicated that Daniel was downstairs playing on a laptop computer? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you know where Luke was at that time? He was there, too. Okay. And then you stated that uh, you went up and filled the bathtub up? Yes. Okay. And uh, then you instructed the boys to take off their PJs? Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, you indicated that Daniel was wearing Spider-Man pajamas? Yes. And then Luke was wearing Superman pajamas? Yes. Okay. Now, in your own words here, tell us what happens after you instruct the boys to get into the bathtub. They, uh, they, they got in the bathtub and, um, the, these crazy voices were prompting me to act irrationally and I uh, changed clothes and um, and I got in there with them and held them underwater and I felt like I was looking down on the whole thing just kind of out of body and and then I, I freaked out and got out and uh, changed my clothes and got them out and got rid of the, I don't remember what order this happened in, but I got the 911 called and um, threw away the other clothes and 911 came and um they they helped my boys <laughs> and my parents came okay just to, just mm -hmm. to clarify that a little bit after the boys got into the tub yes you actually got into the tub with them Yes. Okay. And you were fully clothed at that time? Uh, yes. Okay. And it was during that time that after you got into the tub that you held the boys underwater? Yes. Okay. And do you recall how you did that? Not clearly. Um, but I guess I would have had to hold them down. And you had indicated that at one point you believed you were actually sitting on top of them or had them held down underneath of your body? Yes, I must have. Okay, and <laughs> after you get out of the tub, uh, do you ultimately change your clothes before the police get there? Uh, yes. Okay, and what did you do with the wet clothes? I threw them away. Okay, and you directed us to a garbage can in your bathroom or in your garage, is that correct? Yes, sir. And they were placed into a bag yes. and then placed into the the garbage can along with two towels? Yes. Okay. And uh when when we asked why why you did this, you had indicated that uh you thought that the boys would be better off in heaven. Is that is that a correct statement from you? Those were the crazy thoughts that were in my head. I, was, I don't, of course, I don't think that now, but. Okay. And uh, you, had, you had said you called 911? 
Yes. Okay. And during that time you were on the phone with 911, did, did they advise you or direct you to start any type of uh, CPR or any type of resuscitation? Um, no, they, they um, didn't get that far, perhaps. Okay. But, and, and then you also told us that you never did attempt CPR or anything on the children. No, I don't know how. Okay. And, uh, no, you have another child. That's Joshua, correct? Yes. And he's the one you put on the bus? Yes. Okay, prior to this event. And then we, we also talked a little bit about, uh, after we interviewed your husband, Mark, he had indicated, as well as you, that there was an, an incident approximately a year ago. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And that was where, you know, Luke and Daniel were run over yes. by you in a van. Okay, and uh, that was handled by the uh, Northern Regional Police Department? Yes. Okay, and you stated Luke and Daniel both spent about four days in a hospital? Yes. Okay, and you stated you dropped them off at your mother's residence? Is that where um, the incident took place? Yes. Okay, and then when you drop them off, you back up and you run over them? Yes. Okay, and uh, after we interviewed Mark, he had indicated that you revealed to him that not only did you run over the children, but you had tied them together with uh, some type of twine. And you no. initially denied even saying that to us, correct? Yes, I did. And then you called us back into the room and informed us that you actually did tell Mark that, but it never happened. Right. Okay. Uh, Detective McHugh? No. Okay. Okay, uh, what time do you have now? Uh, 4.13. Okay, the time now is 4.13 p.m. Again, present in the room is myself, Detective Stephen Hitchings. Detective Kevin McHugh. State your name. Michelle Schlemmer. And that will conclude this uh, taped and videotaped uh, interview.